Okay, so this is a, a quick guide to the um, Junomi 525S and uh, we're going to cover the Junomi 521 as well because they are very, very similar. Uh, the only difference being that the 521 doesn't have a needle threader and doesn't have a one-step buttonhole. So the one we're looking at right now is the 525S, which does have uh, a one-step buttonhole. So that's the one-step buttonhole foot. That's uh, a, a basic uh, stitch ripper. Um, a lint uh, brush for cleaning the machine. Foot G for doing um, blind hems. Foot E for doing zips, foot C as an over edge foot, foot B for doing manual buttonholes or applique stitches, uh, a stubby screwdriver, a, a second spool peg which can fit into the top of the machine so you can do twin needle sewing, a a uh, second um, thread uh, cap which goes on to stop the thread from falling off, a felt ring which can be pushed onto there to stop the thread from spinning too quickly, a quilt guide which can be attached to the back of the foot to help you sew parallel lines. A packet of five needles, uh, three bobbins, and there's another bobbin in the machine, so four bobbins in total. All those accessories come uh, with the machine. With the machine also comes a, a hard cover which goes over the top of the machine and the handle comes through the top of the machine. Uh, a foot control with a uh, high and low switch on the side of it to help control the speed. Uh, so you have a high setting which allows access to all the uh, full speed of the machine and a low setting as well to slow the machine down. You also get a uh, instruction book which comes with the machine and um, a guarantee certificate. On the side of the machine uh, this is where you plug the machine in for the power and an on and off switch. The on and off switch controls the power to the light and also the power to the machine. On the front of the machine, uh, this is your stitch selector, and this is your stitch length, and this is your stitch width. This is reverse. On this machine there's um, 24 stitches and also a one step buttonhole. Um, so width, stitch selector, length, reverse. Your thread goes onto this peg here and this is where you wind the bobbin. Uh, this is your thread tension and your bobbin goes in here. under the uh, clear plastic plate. On the underside of the machine there's an accessory box and this part comes off also to give you a free arm. So inside there all your accessories can fit neatly. That now gives you a free arm to do trousers, legs or uh, sleeves on the machine.
Okay, so to wind a bobbin on this machine um, is quite simple. Put the thread onto the machine, put the cap on, bring the thread around the pre tensioner. Put the thread through the hole in the bobbin, push the bobbin onto the machine, engage the bobbin, disengage the needle and then wind it. Disengage the bobbin, engage the needle again, and that's the bobbin wound. Okay, so threading the machine up now, just tidy this loose bit of thread off. Drop the bobbin into the machine, put your finger on the bobbin. Put the thread into the little notch and pull it all the way round. The thread must be coming off the bobbin on the left hand side as per the picture on the bobbin case. So thread coming off the left hand side of the bobbin into the first notch and out of the second. That's the bobbin finished. So thread the machine now into the first guide down and around, into the take-up lever, down, behind the little thread guide just above the needle, lower the presser foot if you plan to use the needle threader, bring the thread under the needle threader, bring the needle threader down, wrap around, put the thread on the front of the eye of the needle, and start to let go and it pulls a small loop of thread out of the back of the eye of the needle. Turn the hand wheel and bring the bobbin thread up. Place the thread under the sewing foot and the bobbin case cover just clicks on. Okay so now the machine is all threaded up it's ready to sew. Uh, we just put the fabric under the foot. Select straight stitch which is uh, stitch 8. Uh, this would be the length of your stitch. Because we're doing a straight stitch we can move the needle from the left hand side to centre position. So now we're over to the left and now we're over to centre position. It will straight stitch on the left or in the centre. So, if we set the machine now to zigzag, which would be stitch C, uh, choose our length, say 2.5, and our width, say 4. To choose any of the stitches on this left hand side, which are coloured blue, uh, just select the stitch using the stitch selector knob. So uh, if we say you wanted stitch G, put onto stitch G, select your length, width, and so.
just by the sound of this machine you can tell it's a nicely put together machine. It's well made, well built and should last uh, a long time. It's capable of doing thick and thin and stretchy fabrics so it's a nice machine. To do any stitches down the right hand side which are orange all we have to do is turn the stitch length control to SS for stretch stitch. We're now working off the menu on the right hand side so leaving it in, in uh, position G rather than doing this stitch G we'll be doing this stitch G.